Tesla shares fractionally lower, just flat barely to the downside right now, after shareholders re-approved of Elon Musk's multi-billion dollar pay package. Now the stock is down nearly 30% compared to last year. You're taking a one-year look here, and we're taking a look at the shares over that 52-week period. Our next guest has been shorting the stock since 2020 and sees more risk to the downside for the EV maker Perla Kander, who is the Clean Energy Transition CEO and Portfolio Manager, here with more. Per, great to have you on the program with us. First and foremost here, how much slippage do you think we could see? Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, you know, my, in my view, Tesla is the biggest um, stock market bubble in world history. Uh, and we have just seen the, the, the start of it. Um, um, you know, you see that, you know, the models are aged um, and, and valuation is absolutely insane. Earnings are falling off a cliff. I would say they're falling 50 percent this year. Um, right. I have like 140 earnings uh, for this year. I think consensus is 265. It was like five at the beginning of the year. So if you think of it, uh, one and a half uh, dollar, uh, what, how do you value that? Um, I think given that there is no growth there, 10 times earnings is very generous. So my price target is $15. Um, having said that, I think this in the end is going to be a donut uh, because once it gets into those levels, uh, in, there is so much going on here in terms of class action lawsuits boards, uh, which is uh, paying itself enormous money, Elon, which is paying itself enormous money. So I think this is hugely dangerous and in the end is going to prove to be the next Enron. For, uh, lots of questions. I guess first, just starting off with some of the concerns that you listed. Those concerns have certainly not caught up to the stock price. And even taking a look at the reaction that we saw from some of Musk's comments last night, there initially was some excitement surrounding the growth, at least that he sees for Tesla over the next several years. I guess my first question to you is what's going to change the perception here or the minds of investors? Because up until this point, we haven't seen some of those concerns that you've laid out reflected really at all in the stock price. Um, I would say yes and no. Let's not forget uh, that the stock is down 60% from all time high. At the same time as the market has gone up uh, 20, 25% uh, in the meantime. So, um, uh, but it's step by step. Where what I uh, what will need to uh, to happen here is of course that the retail crowd needs to to give up because that is what's holding up this stock. You know, valuation makes absolutely no sense. You but know, per, trades will, on. The, per, do you yeah. think the retail trader though will give up on this? I, 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 and I think that that's so interesting, especially surrounding Tesla and that excitement and exactly what that group of investors has been able to do around the broader story here for Tesla. Uh, but everyone runs for the hills when it goes down. So the, so the stock needs to go down. Once it goes down, it's going to go down more. And I think what drives it down is earnings. And, uh, and I think we are very, very close to, to the turning point because so far it's been a slippery slope. They've sold cars poorly, therefore they lowered the price, therefore earnings went down and, and it circulated. Now they are very, very close to waste end here. Uh, you know, this quarter, they are really introduced almost zero percent interest rates uh, on the cars. Uh, uh, when, when Q2 results come, you know, if you think Q1 had terrible deliveries, but actually not that bad earnings. Um, in, in Q2, they have done everything to get uh, cars out of the door and it's gone relatively well. So uh, deliveries are not going to be great, but they're going to be okay. -ish. But earnings 25th of July are going to be absolutely terrible. There is a chance that the company will be loss making. And uh, if it's loss making one quarter and then it's loss making in Q3, I can guarantee you this is double digits. And then I, I think many fanboys will run for the hills and then we are at my 14. Uh, per earlier in the hour, we spoke to Dan Ives, Wedbush Securities uh, analyst and managing director, actually. Uh, here's what he had to say about the EV maker's future. And I want to get your reaction on the other side. But also, this is one that you're going to see three, four million vehicles per year when you look at four or five years from now. And again, betting against Musk, it's been the wrong move. And I think this has clearly been a turbulent period. 
But I could see that Cinderella story starting again as we go into 2025. Now, you are clearly saying that there is a reason to bet against Musk, but it seems like there are a lot of at least shareholders right now, regardless of whether or not retail is the single proponent that's holding up the stock, uh, that you believe there's reason that you should bet against Musk. As long as Absolutely. Musk is in the helm, does it seem like this is a company that is eventually going to get towards what you've set forth in, in your own target? So, so what I think uh, he's missing is what's going on in the overall EV space. Um, I have to go a step back a bit. Uh, we came out of COVID. Uh, the auto industry was constrained. There were early buyers of EVs. You made a killing. Uh, and Tesla was almost a monopolist. And they made a killing on this. Um, then, when things are very good, uh, of course, everyone piles in. So all the conventional auto producers are piling in. And these models have started to come in 24. More of them are coming in 25. Tesla has nothing. So I'll, I'll tell you, there is a true, true cycle which is playing out in EVs. No one being battery to producer, auto producer, lithium miner, no one is going to make money over the uh, next couple of years. And then Tesla has gone from being the leader to be the laggard. So, um, you know, the, yeah, you can't have a stock being at 500 billion market cap if you make no earnings. And that's not been the case in the past. So I'm, I'm extremely convinced. And, uh, you know, just listen to what GM, Stellantis, Mercedes, whatever are saying on EVs. They don't make any money and it's going to get way, way worse before it gets better. Uh, this is, there is there is a long story, but that story is for 27, 28. Per Lakander, who's the Clean Energy Transition CEO and Portfolio Manager. Per, thanks for sharing some of your thoughts here today. Appreciate it. Thank you.